Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good weekend and hope you had a good week as well. Um, I'm a little late on making a video for this topic, but I did see it as soon as Zach shared it. But about, I've been making, you know, I've been prioritizing, prioritizing family and other things the past couple of days. So I did want to make a video about it, even though we all saw this a few days ago. Um, it's still being talked about and, you know, Restore the Snyderverse, of course, of, of course, again, is al always being revived on the internet when something is posted that kind of brings up the topic or shared, and especially if it's something that comes from Zach. So he shared this quick little video. This is just a snapshot, a screenshot of it, but he shared a video of kind of zooming into the turkey on his counter. However, blurred you know, in the background was the book Final Crisis on his counter. And of course, you know, <laughs> people immediately started like zooming in. And even though it's blurry, you can still kind of, you know, you can still tell what the title is. And of course, it started being shared immediately. And I think it's, I think we can all agree that those of us who are Zack Snyder fans and those who have followed the whole, um, movement of Restore the Snyderverse and follow, you know, that we like to keep up to date with what he posts. He is very intentional with the things that he posts. He likes to leave, you know, Easter eggs and cryptic messages and, <laughs> you know, he's, but he's intentional with those kinds of things. I did make a video about the last um, interesting thing that he posted on Vero, which was the clapboard with the, um, in the background was the amazing picture of Wonder Woman that we all are familiar with, with, you know, the original story of her being in the Crimean War. So, <clears throat> and that clapboard had the Zack Snyder's Justice League logo on it. So of course that was an immediate, um, you know, thing for people to start deep diving and trying to figure out what these different letters and uh, numbers mean on the clapboard and all of that. And then a couple days later, you know, or a week later, he shares this, and it was a very quick little thing. You just zoom into the turkey. The background was blurry. Um, so, I mean, of course, not everything means something. He could just have this book there sitting on his counter because he likes it, and maybe he's been reading it. Um, you know, it's obviously a possibility. But people have also been pointing out that Jim Lee, not too long ago, shared um well this was during dc fandom um i'll just you know just leaving this here and save y'all some cut and pasting some you know things about final crisis so i mean of course people are going to start you know as fans and as hopeful fans that we're going to maybe get a restoration of the Snyderverse. of course we're all going to try to put things together or see if, you know, there's <laughs> along with, I said, the, like I said, the clapboard, the picture of the clapboard that Zack Snyder posted. And with that picture, he didn't say anything. He didn't put like this one. He says, thankful. Okay. It was Thanksgiving. There's a Turkey I'm trying to make it, you know, it could be like <clears throat> a double entendre where he's like posting a picture of a Turkey or a video saying thankful Thanksgiving. No one's going to look too much into it, except for, you know, he knows the fans that will notice the final crisis in the background. So I know that it's very easy to, for us, like I said, hopeful and optimistic fans to see things like this and immediately jump to see it's happening. It's happening. You know, the restoring the Snyderverse and he's getting his, so it's very easy to do that. Um, it's hard not to, you know what I mean? We want to be optimistic. We want to keep that hope. I'm sorry to be cliche, but we want to keep that optimism in our minds that like, there's still hopefully a possibility that eventually that could happen. Um, obviously he's starting production very soon in a few months on Rebel Moon. So I don't see like a production starting anytime soon if this is what's happening if they are moving forward with Zack Snyder's universe in some way shape or form at for DC I don't obviously you know it would take a long time before something is actually in production for that even though Zack has said I know where the story would go I know what the sequels would be um I know where things would go after Zack Snyder's Justice League and what it became 
Um, so yes, he knows all those things, but you can't just autom you don't just automatically have cameras rolling, <laughs> you know, like that. Especially with like I said, Rebel Moon is coming up. <clears throat> um, they're starting production on that. So maybe hopefully these posts that he's been sharing recently mean something positive. If not, maybe he's just, you know, showing that he still it, that he is also still optimistic and hopeful for that. He likes to share things with the fans that he knows we're going to talk about and we're going to, but I don't think he would be doing something in the way that's like teasing on purpose when it doesn't mean anything. Also, like I said, he's always very intentional, whether things are obvious or whether they are, have a, like, you have to kind of look into it to understand the meaning of it. Kind of like back a long time ago when he shared the picture of the deep, cut on his thumb, it would, it meant Snyder cut, right? Okay. So like some things on the surface are not, are just, okay, it's a turkey on Thanksgiving, but some of his other posts are a little bit more like they, like I said, they have another meaning to them. Um, so hopefully it means something positive. If not, it's cool to know that Zach is still reading, like he likes to read DC stuff. He's still into that and hope, you know, maybe, like I said, it means that he's also hoping that with this merger, maybe something could move forward with his universe in some way, you know? So again, no, I was late on making a video for this, but I definitely saw when the internet broke <laughs> again, when he posted this, because anytime he posts something that's even a possibility of being related to the Snyderverse, of course, the hashtags and the trending start. And I did see it when he posted it. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on it, even though it was a few days late. But um, let me know what you guys think. And thanks for checking out the video. Check out the video. You can also um, check out the channel for any other videos you may have missed, including my fitness shorts on the short section. And thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll see you guys next time.